Welcome to your Daily Five for Thursday, September 14th, 2023. I came across a Wired.com article that I thought was interesting and I wanted to, to talk about it a little bit. The title of the article, I'll quote it here, and of course I'll link to it in the show notes, is, quote, The U.S. Congress has trust issues. Generative AI is making it worse, end quote. And the article is talking about, as part of a larger anti-big tech push that is going on in the United States, although so far has not really resulted in much of anything other than big hearings and headlines that kind of go away after a few days. But there was a apparently a closed-door session in the Senate, I believe, where the people involved were concerned about fake political ads and content that is going to, that's already out there in some cases, but is probably going to get a lot more convincing as we lead up to another election cycle. And for those who are unfamiliar with U.S. politics, uh, the congressional trust issue that Wire talks about is a very real thing where most people don't believe that the Congress in the United States is doing its job very well. Now, why they think that tends to go down party lines. So it's basically Democrats blaming Republicans and Republicans blaming Democrats because that's what makes money and gets views. But no matter how you look at it, Basically, it shakes out to not many people think that the congressional branch of the United States government, which is, for those who are unfamiliar, responsible for making the laws that are then enforced by the other branches, or interpreted in the case of the judiciary. I always get that one wrong, but I want to be clear about it. In any event, nobody seems to trust these people. And if you look at the way that ads are aired in this country, if you've ever seen any of them, if you look at the way that ideas are quote-unquote debated in this country, it's hard to... I'm sorry, it's easy to understand why people don't think that this body of government is doing what it's supposed to do. Now, the concern, though, I have to admit, over the fake generated ads is a good one. I, I don't necessarily disagree with the concern that the, well, in this case, the Senate, but I'm sure all of Congress has, over the fact that as fake content of all kinds becomes more and more convincing... As we already know, it's not very difficult to mislead people just by having what in some cases are horribly badly photoshopped images as things become more refined and more difficult to detect in terms of being fake. That type of problem is only going to get is only going to get worse. But the article also rightly points out that it's not simply a matter of regulating technology companies to fix this. There is also the more fundamental problem that the distrust of Congress did not start when computers got really fancy. That has predated any of this generative AI stuff. It was long before that because people simply felt like they were not being heard. So solving one side of the problem is not going to suddenly make it where everybody trusts Congress. They're also going to have to start acting in a way that makes people feel like they are actually doing their job. So this is to some degree, as the article points out, some people in the article point out, a smokescreen, a, a way to deflect the actual root of the distrust, or some of it, onto a boogeyman, which is generative AI. But at the same time, there is also that concern. So I think this is one of those cases, and this is going to be a difficult one, as we've seen, it's nearly impossible in this country for Congress to do anything, one single issue, let alone something that has to have a uh-oh, nuanced approach. But on the one hand, yes, do I think that generative AI is going to be a problem in this way, that it is going to fool people? Yeah, you know, we like to think that we're smarter than we are in a lot of cases, but it becomes very easy to fool people, especially when they don't have a high degree of media literacy. But that is not the real source of the problem. It is a compounding element of an existing issue, which is that fundamentally people in this country, and I assume in other ones, but I can only speak for where I live, people in this country do not feel like the people who are supposed to be functioning as their representatives, essentially as their governmental surrogates, are doing the jobs that they were elected there to do. People don't feel like their interests are properly represented. And until that gets solved, and that has nothing to do with generative AI, that is a more fundamental and deeply, more deeply rooted issue than something a computer can generate. If you feel like somebody's doing a good job in representing you, you're not going to care what ads you see about them. If you see an ad about somebody that you don't think is doing what they should be doing, it amplifies what's already there. It doesn't create it. It just takes it and expands upon it. So this article points out that it is correct that some of this is a smokescreen, but there is some truth to that. This is a multi-pronged problem. Essentially, it's a two-side problem. And until both sides get addressed, it's only going to get worse. And based on what's happened so far, I'm not sure they can address one problem in this country very well. So we'll see. Later.